you, gentlemen, science has agreed that unless something is done and done quickly, man as the dominant species of life on Earth will be extinct within a year. Hello and welcome back to Ask Johnny. Well, the last couple of shows have opened up a bloody hornet's nest of uh, people thinking they either are the Messiah or their kids are the Messiah or uh, their kids are the Dalai Lama or they think their kids are both. They've been coming in by the, uh, by the millions and we've picked a few out and to try and sort through them, we're going to head straight to Ask Johnny. G'day Johnny, it's great to be back here for another Ask Johnny session. G'day Johnny, it's great to have you back here for Ask Johnny too, as usual. Yes Johnny, well, we've got uh, inundated with letters and photos from people from around the world who believe uh, they may be Jesus or they know someone who is Jesus. Right, yes. The first one, and this is Jesus, he's from the Punjab. His wife sent it in, Johnny. Uh, she sent this in to us. She says, when he turned 30, he realised he was the Messiah and is constantly being harassed by the police. Well, that sort of fits the bill, Johnny, for a Jesus. Jesus? He reckons he's Jesus? Well, have a look at him. He sort of looks apart. If you're going to have a Jesus from the Punjab, that's how he's going to bloody look. Uh, I think he's uh, a good contender. I don't know whether the people in the Punjab would be open to having Jesus there, but he's going to have to do some miracles for us. Send in some miracles, uh, Jesus. All right, okay. Well, we've got another one here, Johnny. Uh, this is Suzuki from Japan. She sent in a picture of her uncle, and his name's Jesus. She says he's always reckoned he's been the Messiah. Uh, do you think he is? She's asking us, Johnny. Yeah, a good photo. He's also got 12 people all uh, following him around and uh, he reckons they're his disciples. Yeah, Suzuki, I don't know about your uncle. Uh, he sort of got the look that you'd expect from a Jesus, especially in Japan. Yes, you're making good sense again, Johnny. I reckon he's pushing shit uphill though to be a Jesus over there, even though he's got 12 followers. Uh, for him to be a successful Jesus and get known as Jesus, he's going to have to have about 45 million followers, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. Really? I don't know about that, Johnny. And he's looking too bloody old to be Jesus anyway. Well, yes, that's right, Johnny. This is from Janita and she's in Brazil. Well, ask Johnny is huge down in Brazil. They've been watching us for years. But Genetic says, and she sent a photo. Oh, that's a nice shot of him, of a man she has followed for weeks. Oh, he's Jesus, all right, she says. I'm going to continue following him till he does some sort of miracle. Do you reckon she's wasting her time, Johnny? Well, Janita, you're on to something, I reckon. Uh, this particular bloke, he's got the look, hasn't he? By Jesus, he's got those swarthy Mediterranean looks that uh, everybody hopes Jesus was looking like. Yeah, yeah, I reckon that's right. And he's dressed very beautifully and educated by the book he's carrying around. Well, if you think so, Johnny. I don't know, uh, Janita, if you should be following him day and night. Uh, That'd be a bloody miracle if you don't get arrested, I reckon. <laughs> Keep watching him discreetly. And if you do see him making any miracles, like bringing uh, dogs on the side of the road back to life or... That sounds ridiculous. Don't that sounds like bullshit, Johnny. Um, turn and uh, wine into uh, whiskey. Uh, make sure you get it on camera and send it into us. Well, right, that could be true. But then we've got Rusos from Siberia. And Rusos simply declares, Johnny, I am the Messiah. What do you reckon? Rusos. Rusos reckons he's the Messiah, eh? Well, he's the bloody hairiest looking Messiah we've, uh, we've seen. But Jesus, he's bloody delusional, Johnny. Have a look at him. Yeah, yeah, I reckon that's right. Next letter, for God's sake. This is Nadish from the Cameroon, and hello to everybody down in the Cameroon. Keep watching, ask Johnny. Nadish, he sent this in, and he thinks he's Jesus. 
and is convinced of the fact. He is being ignored by the church and has got no support at all from them. Uh, do you think he's the Messiah, Johnny? Oh, he's a fine looking fella. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, if uh, Jesus was going to be born in the Cameroon, uh, that's how he'd look, I reckon. Uh, beautiful decorations. And what does it say here? He's being ignored by the church. Well, that doesn't surprise me, Yana uh, Dish. Uh, they're not going to pay any attention to you. They haven't paid any attention to anybody for 2,000 years. There could have been uh, Jesus come back several times in that period. No, come on, Johnny. And we've missed him each time. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's the miracles that hold the key to all this Jesus stuff. And uh, dish, if you can do some miracles, uh, like uh, opening a couple of schools just out of nowhere over there, or easing poverty in some of the neighbouring countries, and, uh, and uh, doing a bit of work for the church so you can get on the good side of them. Yes, yes, you're making good sense again, Johnny. You've got to remember, if you want to get on the good side of the church, you've got to suck up to them and do all sorts of bullshit to get in their uh, good book, so to speak. What you're about to see is a matter of human record. Explain it, we cannot. Disprove it, we cannot. We simply invite you to explore with us the amazing world of the unknown. And here's something a bit different uh, about the uh, Dalai Lama. This is Yip, and he's from China. And he reckons he's actually the Dalai Lama, and they picked the wrong guy last time. What do you think about that, Johnny? Well, as we said in the last broadcast, uh, the Dalai Lama, he, he always seems to get born in uh, Tibet. But uh, he could be born anywhere, as, as Yip has pointed out. And now, uh, I would say you'd have to take your case to the United Nations, yep, uh, plead your case. Uh, I don't know whether you're going to have any success with that, though. Uh, the Dalai Lama and that, they don't do miracles like uh, good old Jesus. Uh, maybe you'd have to go down that road and do some miracles. I think, I think it'll be a miracle if you're accepted as the Dalai Lama. I think things have gone too far with this other bloke. Well, if you think so, Johnny. And anyway, yep. If uh, you come out as a Dalai Lama, the Chinese would kick your ass from here to Timbuktu. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, this one's from Shelly, Johnny. Shelly's in New York. And she's convinced she's going to be the first uh, female Jesus. And by Jingo's, by the look of her, she's on the right track. Yeah, Shelley. Uh, yeah, a female Jesus, as we said in our last broadcast, that's possible, uh, especially in 2021. I don't know whether it was possible way back there in uh, Roman days, but uh, 2001, it's very possible. And she looks the part. She's got that sort of wild look in her eye, though. And uh, I'm not sure that she's completely well balanced. Well balanced enough to be a true messiah and lead us all out of the dog shit doldrums we're in now. Yeah, yeah, I reckon that's right. The world needs a saviour and oh, I'm not too fast whether it's a man or a woman. Right, Johnny, yeah. But then we've got Oscar and Billy, twins. And they're in Yorkshire. And they reckon uh, they're both the Messiah. Twins, Johnny. What do you reckon uh, twins would do to the bloody uh, the religion? Twins? I don't think anyone's ever thought of uh, uh, the Messiah coming back as twins. But by Jesus, that's a possibility. And uh, they're, they're looking the part, those two. Yeah. Twins would be interesting. Twin Messiahs would be interesting, you know, Johnny. That throws up all sorts of uh, positive connotations. I mean, uh, uh, Jesus could be in two places at once. They could be like those little girls that were on a full house or whatever it was. Uh, you know, they, they grew up and had a fashion empire. They could be like that. Uh, I think it's gone past them, though. But we're going to look out for uh, twin messiahs in the future. Let me tell you, I'm going to contact the church about it and see what they reckon. Right. By golly, if that had happened uh, 2,000 years ago, twins, 
Uh, the bloody world would be in a different spot today, I reckon. Right. We wouldn't know who was crucified and who wasn't. You'd have to crucify both of them at the same time. Yes, yes, you're making good sense again, Johnny. So twins is probably uh, the, the best option we've got. Three doubly is good to have uh, two messiahs, certainly. And I don't think uh, they're ever going to think up that there's going to be two Dalai Lamas at the one time. Twin Dalai Lamas, imagine that. Imagine the stir that it cause. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hang on a minute. Imagine twin Dalai Lamas. They went to the little, uh, poor little dusty village in uh, back of Tibet. They knocked on the door and there's twin babies. <laughs> what are they going to do? They've got to take two of them. Oh yeah, it's a very interesting scenario, Johnny. Oh, and Johnny, they just keep continuing. We've got another photograph and a letter here. And it's from Claire in Hawaii. And hello to everybody in Hawaii. Oh, watching us, Johnny, I'm sure. Keep watching us. But Johnny, Claire says... Johnny, my child was born without intercourse. None. I believe my little baby, I call Jesus, is Christ returned. And I have spoken to my doctor and my church, but they have washed their hands of my holy baby, just as it was done to him back when he first came into the world 2,000 years ago. You and your channel are the only hope for his true recognition. I beg you, Claire. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Thanks, Claire. Johnny, what do you think about that one? Yeah, Claire, another one without uh, intercourse. Uh, immaculate. Yeah, oh well. Uh, yeah, well, that's a miracle in itself. Uh, but uh, that's the problem, Claire. Uh, we're not sure whether uh, Jesus, wherever he's born, whether it's Hawaii or wherever, it's going to be found and treated properly. And you'll certainly jump on the bandwagon. Uh, quick smart. Yes, yes, you're making good sense again, Johnny. I think there should be more tests done uh, to see if he uh, can do any miracles, even though he's only a young fella. He might be able to uh, make an apple into an orange or something stupid like that. And if he can do that, I'm sure the Vatican will be looking at him. And uh, I would be. Uh, so keep plugging along. Uh, as I said, uh, if he can get some miracles, I tell all the people who are writing to us, there's millions of them, uh, that you've got to come up with a few miracles, at least. And uh, yeah, well, Hawaii is a, it's a nice place to be born. You can do a few miracles and they still don't uh, pay any attention. Well, these young people might have a uh, future in show business. That sounds ridiculous. Don't that sounds like bullshit, Johnny. And Johnny, there's this one from Mary in Jerusalem. And hello to all our fans in Jerusalem. Keep watching us, Johnny, over there. But Mary, who's in Jerusalem, says, Johnny, I conceived my child immaculately. We all know what that means. I have known from birth my little Jesus is the chosen one. Oh, that's a nice shot of him. Please help me deal with the Vatican. They have rejected my boy, the Messiah. Signed Mary in Jerusalem. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Thanks, Mary. Well, Johnny, this one might have hit the nail right on the head. Mary in Jerusalem. Mmm, immaculately birthed, I see. Well, uh, Mary, uh, if it happened once, it could have happened again. I'm not saying you're a bullshit artist, but as a young boy, has he shown any uh, predetermination for um, doing anything spiritual? Yeah! Has he uh, thrown any uh, money makers out of the temple? Stuff like that? Is he out there if you're taking him to the pool and notice that uh, he can bloody walk on water? These things are all indications that the young fella may be the Messiah. <laughs> yeah.
strange goings on in this world of ours. Uh, if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, this hard-hitting uh, expose of religion and uh, manners and all sorts of bullcrap, uh, keep tuning in, because we're going to hit it with all the force we can muster. You'll get the truth here, no backing down. But that's all for today from uh, Ask Johnny. Uh, we'll see you next time. Keep tuned, because there will be another episode coming out very shortly. But Dr. Marvin, I can't let you have the car. I... Get out of my way, Frank. Please, Dr. Marvin, I don't want to lose my job. Oh.